Now, as I said before, it's really easy to add uh, lanes so that if you have two lanes here going this way and two lanes here going that way, I mean, you could add three or four, it's, it's not a problem. The biggest challenge that we have is making sure that our frog is the right size. So for instance, right now, if our frog is in the start area, um, if a car comes along here, he's going to get clipped. So we need to make him smaller. So we'll choose the shrink button and then go shrink, 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 shrink. There we go. And so now he's down in the starting area. If I want to make the starting area bigger, I can just go back to the stage and do that. But I'm just going to leave him down here for right now. And I want this frog to always start at that location. So uh, right here, I want to insert something in here. So after the green flag is clicked to start the game, but before my forever loop that happens over and over again, in that gap, I want to insert something. And so lucky for me, there's this thing called glide one sex to X, and then it's got a value and Y and it's got a value. Now, let me just throw this away because I want to show you right now, the frog is at 46 and X equals 46, Y equals negative 161. And if I move it over, you'll see that now it's at X equals 52, Y equals negative 162. So that's where these numbers are coming from and it automatically puts it in for you, which is extremely helpful. So, and maybe we don't want it to glide for one second. Maybe we want it to glide for two seconds. So we'll say glide for two seconds to the starting location at the very beginning. I'll just insert it in there. If you wanted to separate it out and do it that way, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click the green flag and move the frog around. Okay, he really looks like he's amazing. And then press stop. And then when I wanna start a new game, I click the green flag, the frog goes back to the starting position. And now I can carry on. Now you'll notice, I'll just stop that and start it again. If I click the green flag and click the arrows right away, the arrows are not active yet. It has to finish this glide before it gets into the forever and does the other actions or listens for the other um, keys to be pressed. So that's an important note with this glide is that that glide uh, stops everything else from happening until it's finished. So that just gets us back to the start area. We'll just do that again and then press stop. So now our frog is ready to play and we're ready to add some killer cars.